I'm hopefully the uh, stream sorting itself out. Give it a few minutes. You're gonna just see OBS open for you, uh, for a while. I'll try and talk you through what is going on in the meantime. Um, Counter terrorists have just won the fifth round. So Seal, I've got two. Endpoint, I've got three. Uh, we have got AKs coming in for Endpoint, M4s coming in for Seal, one AWP on Pete, and one AWP for Luzza, it looks like. Yes, the uh, stream is back on. So sorry about that, guys. Uh, back into it. So, we've got full utility on the Seal side, and, and on the Endpoint side. A lot of armor going through each way. We've got Pete watching down mid with the AWP and Luzze is just on the other side of that. It can be so easy for them to meet and just take each other out. But it looks like they aren't going to quite see each other yet. Looks like Bananas was smoked. My bag's just waiting for any push coming through there. It doesn't look like anything's going to come through. Aaron spraying through the smoke on the, uh, the midline. Mono with a grenade in. Doesn't tag any. Oh, tags pulse with 2 HP. 3 HP rather. Mighty Max back with Banana on his own. Looks like Pete, no, they know something's going on. They can hear all the footsteps going off and all the grenades going through. They're just going to throw a flashbang, see if they can slow any rotations coming down. Mighty Max, Luzza, they're all, the entire team are coming over. See what they can do over at B. You can see here Weber on his own in uh, apartments. Trying to catch somebody off guard, maybe. The default smoke comes in, blocking off anyone from CT, watching from ruins or anything. Flashes go in to make sure no one's going to push through. There are two guys over in boxes. Crank takes down Mighty Max, and he gets pulsed in the spray. Looks like Mighty Max takes down Cranks in return. Aaron takes down Poyo, and uh, there's the one AWP off. So we only have two. Oh, and there goes Luzzer again. So we have Weber on his own, and he was the one lurking over by apartment. So it looks like he's got a bit of rotation to come in, try and get the bomb, maybe get a few frags in. Poyo and Crank get taken down and all that gunfire, leaving three for the SEAL team and one sniper over here. Pete. They don't know where he is, you can see him just taking pot shots through the smoke. Doesn't quite connect with anyone. And he jumps through Weber gets flashbanged and ultimately taken down by Monoline. So unlucky to endpoint there, just got caught out. And uh, Weber was in the wrong place at the wrong time when everyone died. He wasn't there to back him up. But it could have gone well for them. He could have caught somebody out and then the rotation would have been as harsh. But it wasn't to be. Is Weber's profile picture? I've just seen that. Beautiful. Smoke going into Banana from Mighty Max. Well lined up through the chimneys. You can hear some uh, model salt going off from the terrorist side. From the counter terrorist side, sorry. One grenade goes in. Decimating for, uh, Weber. Look at his health. He's gone right down. Aaron has left the... <laughs> Aaron's had enough. He doesn't want any part of this. And then Weber getting decimated there by Pete. But luckily, he was the one who was taken down by the grenade, which means all of the endpoint guys who are still alive have full health. The AWP, obviously, would have just gone through and uh, decimated anyone. So luckily, it was somebody who had less health. So the other guys are going to have more of a chance against the uh, SEAL players who are still alive. Wakari, she's selling there right in the headshot place. He manages to take down... Oh, he managed to get Luzza and he gets Mighty Max. And doesn't quite get pulse, he leaves that to Mono. Are they going to get Aaron back? <laughs> Mike, you see down there? Problem. There certainly is. Where is Aaron? Did he forget his lunch? <laughs> Maybe he's having problems. Maybe he's trying to figure out what's going on as well. Then it wouldn't just be me, that'd be nice. Well, let's talk about what's happened so far, because we've missed most of the game, because OBS and Sivo were having a massive hissy fit at me. So, Seal are in the lead, they're 4-3 on the 8th round. 8th um, round? 4, 5, 6, 7? How does... Oh, I see, yes, we're on the 8th round now. Aaron has managed to join back in. Uh, no buys come from the endpoint team yet. Doesn't look like they have the money to do so. I mean, they could if they wanted to, but it wouldn't... Well, probably wouldn't have the utility they'd want, or they'd have to go for, for, uh, for masses. We've got a full buy coming in from Seal, apart from the MP9, uh, MP9 from Poyo for some reason. Uh, the two Solon OK AKs, the M4, and obviously the AWP on Pete. So yeah, we are getting a few AKs coming in. Max Pulse and Aaron and Luzza are all getting them, whereas Weber has got his CZ and he's got utility to make, for make up for it. 
Max going him. He keeps throwing the smoke. He's just trying to delay anything for Banana. Especially if they're not going to bother pushing it. They don't want to get shot out from anywhere. So they can block up vision. Oh, okay. And Pete gets taken out by Pulse. He was waiting on mid with the AWP. Crank having a few pot shots through the smoke. Doesn't get anyone. Doing a bit of parkour. He knows he's safe. Bit of a slow push coming in from endpoint. They haven't been challenged yet, which means they can push up really far and get in a lot of aggressive angles. Max is just watching behind, making sure they don't get ran up on by anyone. And it looks like Ocarus is going to meet Max. Uh, Luzza there, sorry. You take him out. Peach is going to be sitting there watching very passively with the orb. He gets flashbang, doesn't matter though, because he isn't going to be challenged by anyone. Max is coming in a bit late. He ma oh, wow. Uh, magical headshot on Ocarish. Aaron. Oh, he orb oh, and he manages to get Pete somehow through the box. I think he just got CS would Unlucky, man. Crack and Poyo are just rotating now on the edge of uh, Alpha. You see... Poyo coming in through apartments where Weber is going to be in a perfect position to take out one of them. Will he get both of them, though? He sees the flashman come in. He takes out Poyo, who wasn't ready for him. And then cranked, obviously. He sees him, he gets a shot off him, and he gets the headshot off him while he's flashbanged. Lovely flashbang there, and is Sivo having another hissy fit? No, it's not. Thank goodness. So, we're tied at 4-4, all tied up. And we have a lot more equipment value for the endpoint team, you can see at the top of the screen here. 27k as opposed to 5, almost 6,000. But they, oh, the buys are still coming in though. Both teams have an AWP. AWP's going to be put onto P, I assume. There it is. And a UMP from Poyo. Looks like he couldn't quite get all the M4s that he wanted, but it's fine. I'm sure he's going to be taking up a close range angle. You can see him here. He's going all the way onto Banana. With Cranks actually uh, taking on the long range shot. So he's going to be uh, falling back and make sure he can just get anyone on the off chance that they're going to come close. The endpoint guy's moving up mid. Molotov goes down to try and slow them down. See if they can just try and stop the rotation. Flashbang's on site, you can see him here trying to make sure no one's going to push him while they're going around. Don't push through the smoke, you won't be able to see. Smoke goes in there, so for CT, giving Max and Pulse enough time to just jump around. Looks like Loza and Weber haven't quite done there yet. Weber gets taken down in apartments by uh, Ocarish, who is sitting there waiting for anyone to push around. The plant goes in, Loza's going to be put on him. Oh no, never mind, he's not going to go over the Molotov. Pulse is up on the box there, you see him ready. A bit of an off angle. Max just holding it down. AD, AD, AD. Looks like he's going to come toe to toe with in a second. Crank patiently waiting around the corner, waiting for the smoke to dissipate. Oh, he's found a little hole, but the uh, he's not going to go through yet. Was this holding a very odd angle there with the orb? Max takes down Poyo. Pulse takes down Crank. Looks like Ocarish manages to take the frag on Aaron, and he goes for the wall bang. Doesn't get the kill. Mighty Max somehow gets the kill on Ocarish as he's trying to get, escape. And Pete is only left with the AWP. And he takes down Mighty Max. Leaving only Pulse, in fact. So that's the point to end point. So Pete manages to save the AWP and he gives it to Poyo. And then obviously we've got Luzzer on the AWP here. AK's all around for the endpoint side. Aaron only has one flashbang. That's interesting. Maybe he didn't have enough money to buy the rest of them. It's not like you can drop people grenades in this game anyway. Luzzer here. Oh! Does he see P? He does! He gets the frag in him through the wall as well. Bet Pete's feeling a bit disheartened there. He doesn't, there's no one through the smoke, but he thought he'd give it a go anyway. You see the endpoint side here. They're getting up from Dana. They're going to get ready to push on B. Whereas Webber is just put right at the bottom of the map. He's just lurking. See if anyone's going to rotate and he can catch him out. Aaron manages to get the jump on Poyo with a headshot with the AK. Crank. He's in by Fountain. He gets uh, he gets Aaron down with a headshot from the Deagle. It wasn't a headshot. Pardon me. Mighty Max is doing a bit of parkour. He's trying to jump around and he gets the spray down on Mighty Max. On Crank, pardon me. Uh, Pulse gets taken by Orcarish, but then is returned by Mighty Max. Max has the bomb here, he's just looking for a better place to plant, maybe? Yeah, he smokes off Coffin and then gets it down right there, in the corner of the site. More, more people have been planting there recently, usually... Pros tend not to go for default anymore, they seem to like that little Coffin spot. 
might be easier for them to... Oh, it looks like Endpoint are rotating off pretty hard. They're just going to try and find Monoline, who's going to be locking himself in, closing all the doors. And Loza sees him, and he gets the, he gets the frag. I, I love that Karambit. I always say that. Every time I see Max's Karambit, I say, wow, I want that Karambit. It's better than my fashion knife. Anyway, so it looks like a pistol buy coming in from Seal. We've got the CZ on Pete and on Ocarish. Uh, P250. Uh, nothing else, really. Whereas we've got a full buy on Endpoint. No armor at all on Seal. Just just a few pistols. And Crank hasn't even bought anything. He's sticking with a P2000. But the, uh, the grenades buy and the armor from Endpoint looks like it's going to be an easy win for them. Seal's probably thinking, well, if we can just get the money from this round and try and survive, if we survive, that'd be fantastic. Next round, we'll be able to beat them. That's probably what they're thinking. They're going to be smoking off there. Loza gets flashed accidentally. That's fine. He, does he know Monolize there? Oh, he gets, he gets shot there. He doesn't take much damage, though. He's only a Glock. Glock, P2000. Oh, there's a P250, sorry. Okarish is here. He's lurking. He's got the CZ. If he gets the drop on Loza, that's a frag. It's not like he can retrieve the AWP, though. It does mean they've lost their primary AWPer, though, for Endpoint. We've got the bomb here on site, and they're planning it now. My Max is just watching in where Pete was. He still is. Pulse gets the frag on Okarish, but he returns it with a P250. I'm probably picking up an AK now. Yep, there it is. Wow, crazy headshot from one line there. Max is watching the angle so finely, I'm not sure he's going to see Cranked. Oh, he's in apartments anyway. Maybe he's, just, maybe he's waiting for that. Aaron, oh, if he's shot now, he'd get the headshot, but it doesn't look like he's going to take the risk through the smoke. He doesn't want to let them know where he is. Poe, oh, he doesn't really get flash. He sees Aaron anyway, and he takes him down. And then Pete takes out Mighty Max through a wall with the AWP, and the defuse is coming in. No, it's not. Oh, they, they haven't got a kit. Of course, they didn't buy one, but they have retrieved weapons from this round. So they didn't win, but they've turned that eco round into... Oh, well, they've lost an AK. But they've turned that eco round into a free AWP and AK. People taking the mick out of me in chat for liking a crap. I'll fight you. So we've got a double orb coming in from Seal. Interesting. I assume that's going to be one mid and one B. And then Luzzer again, obviously, with the orb. Endpoint putting that on him as much as possible. Weber's going to be, uh... He's going to be going towards A. Just lurking. A lot of grenades coming in. A lot of utility being spent on the endpoint side. They really do not want to be pushed. Not that uh, Seal are going to push them, of course. I'm not sure they know there's an AWP there. Crank just is watching back. Second AWP, obviously, on A site. Yeah, you can see that very fine angle there. It's not quite a pixel peek. Oh, he doesn't really get... Oh, he manages to get the jump on Luzza, who tries to peek him. Doesn't quite work. So again, that's endpoint. Pulse picks up the AWP instead. Ocarus oh, manages to get Weber, who's uh, lurking around. Ooh, Mighty Max looking the wrong way, gets decimated by Pete. But Pulse knows where he is now. The incendiary comes down, it's only a matter of time. He gets the frag and he gets out of there before he gets too much damage. He's on 57 health. That incendiary guy was really kicking the ass there. So it's just Aaron and Pulse here, left on the road. Lucky for them. Pulse, he doesn't see anyone there. They smoke off CT to make sure there's not going to be anyone watching down. They know the orbs on B side still. And it looks like Monoline's still just uh, making sure no one's going to push him. Crank! Oh, and he gets the frag on Pulse. Unluckily for them. So it looks like Endpoint lose this round as well, leaving Seal for five to losing 5-7. And again, it, the double AWP setup never really sits well with me on Inferno. Maybe an AWP on mid, maybe an AWP on B, but not both, for me personally. But if it's working for Seal, and it clearly is... And go for it. We've got a full pistol buy coming in from Endpoint. CZ's all around in the Deagle and Weber. Lots of grenades going down mid. And then they're going to be backing off very abruptly. Looks like it's going to be rushing in full with the CZ. Monoline takes down Aaron and they return. Loza gets on Monoline. Looks like Monoline dies. Sorry, Pulse dies to the uh, incendiary grenade that I was throwing down. Ocarish manages to get a headshot on Mighty Max and then Loza on Ocarish with the CZ. Leaving just Loza on 11 HP and Weber. But Luzza does retrieve an AK uh, in the midst of things. Pogo's just going to be checking around. He doesn't know where they are. 
All of them have a defuse kit on the CT side, and Weber manages to get the frag on Poyo. Frag goes in. If that was Luzzer, it would have killed him. Luckily enough, it was Weber. He dodges the orb shots. And he is blinded. He... Oh, I wonder if he heard where the orb came from and knows where he is. Yes, he did. He's only on 19 HP. One shot will kill him. Weber is going on to headshot over there on Graveyard. Oh, Pete was looking the wrong way, and Luzzer manages to get the frag on him anyway. Oh, Pete takes down Weber, in fact. Didn't notice that. So we only have Luzzer on 11 HP. However, one shot from each of these guns killed him. Oh, he gets him through. Oh, he, lo he looks like he's got a few fra uh, bullets coming in through the crate. Doesn't quite kill him, though. Oh, and there's the frag anyway. Unluckily for endpoint. Ah, oh, that could have gone either way as well. I don't know if Crank knew what HP he was on, because he could have just used the pistol, but he seemed comfortable off with the orb. So that was a... They lost one orb there, Seal. It'd be interesting if they buy the uh, second orb again. Yes, they did. They bought the second one. So they've got two orbs again. And then Endpoint are coming in with the pistol buy again. Looks like three CZs and two P250s. A couple of bits of utility for marks, but nothing nothing significant. And then full armor apart from on Poyo. And it looks like the SEAL team will got a lot more equipment here. Cheeky boost coming in from the SEAL side on B side. Doesn't look like it's going to come in handy though, because Endpoint are going A. Max is just checking out mid, see if he can see anyone. He doesn't know that... Pete is right round the corner. Smoke comes in, allowing Pete to rotate off. The entirety of the endpoint team, oh, they don't quite get caught out. I suppose one line does take out Aaron, but they, re they return very quickly and manage to get an M4 on Luzza there. Keep an eye on Luzza. Poyo comes in, sees my Max Max, doesn't quite see him, and he gets taken out. He doesn't get out in time. Luzza's here, he's watching at a, a fine headshot range. Oh! And he, and he just sprays through the smoke towards library. He gets a few bullets off on Crank. Doesn't get the kill, but he brings him down to 14 HP. <laughs> All of the SEAL team are here. One grenade could do him a lot of damage. But it doesn't look like the endpoint team have any. Pete manages to see Weber. Luzzer takes down the spray, and he manages to get two players. That leaves just Poyo and Crank, who manage to take him down. And will they get the defuse? They've got kits. That's enough time. That's plenty of time, surely. Oh, it's cut it close, yeah, it was, ah, oh, one second, and that would have been a different round. And they've kept the two orbs, so they don't have to spend a lot of money on those, $4,750. I know that, because I buy orbs way too much. So we've got, uh, the first full buy from Endpoint in a long time, full grenades, full armour, and, uh, one orb on Luzzer, and the double orb setup with Pranked and Pete. Ocarish frag down mid. Doesn't go where he wants it to. It doesn't do anyone damage, but Luzza gets taken out by one line. Pete and Ocarish both get frags on Luzza and Aaron. Pulse takes down Ocarish with the headshot, leaving a three on three. Oh, the boost is coming over wall. Oh, and Pulse manages to take advantage of that and spray through it and get the kill. Oh, yeah, he knows where they are. He's putting down smokes, trying to delay it as much as possible. Takes a tiny bit of damage from the grenade. Pete is all the way on A site. I mean, Endpoint could be here. He doesn't know that. Checking he's very being very cautious. It <laughs> looks like Poyo's ran all the way back to CT spawn. But Endpoint don't know that, and they're playing very passively. Allowing Pete to just gain yards of them. Getting closer and closer every second. They're going to be expending their utility anyway. Which is a smart move. They smoke off CT. And it looks like Poyo is coming through uh, graveyard there by coffins. Ah, uh, Pete managed to get the drop on Weber, who was just coming around the side. As I said earlier, getting closer and closer. The grenade goes over into B site. Doesn't hit anyone. It sends through grenade. Ah, oh, forcing Max out of position and then getting the frag on him. Oh, and then Pulse gets the headshot on Pete and unluckily doesn't quite get the final kill. Allowing Poyo here to defuse. What a shame. 8 7 to seal. And that is the half. Give the players a second to uh, warm up. One Align does not want to. <laughs> He's not ready, clearly.
putting in the wrong command by one character. Well, that wasn't very nice, was it? I was. I always feel uh, strange trying to cast the uh, the moments between games. All right, Pete. He wasn't doing anything, was he? <laughs> If you haven't been keeping up to date, this is the third match uh, of the best of three. Endpoint took the first, Seal took the second, and uh, the third map was postponed till today, so winner here takes all. The line just coming up to CT spawn. I like Inferno. This, the, the way they've done this map now, it, it looks a lot smarter, I suppose. Same with Nuke, the new Nuke. Both the maps just look a lot better than the older versions. The new start, the new like art direction CSGO has been taking just looks fantastic in my opinion. It kind of makes it look more like a uh, a modern game because the flat edges they were using beforehand on the old nuke and all that, uh, it made CSGO just look a bit old, like it really was made in 2012, which it was obviously. But now that they're using props instead of just empty walls, I think it looks fantastic. And it gives uh, the art team a lot more direction in what they in what they do. They can make any wall look, you know, however they want, rather than just a. Oh, Poyo is really ready there. All caps. All right, who do you think is going to win, guys? Let us know in the Twitch chat, or you can tweet us on Twitter at Team Endpoint. I think Endpoint are going to win, but you know. <laughs> I might have a bias. Monoline didn't pick up the AWP in the first half. I wonder why. He seems to be doing alright with it. Okay, so it looks like the first round is starting now. Got Diffuse Kit on my Max. Oh no, never mind, just kidding. Armor on Pulse, Aaron and... L oh no, what is going on? <laughs> I think they look confused as well. Is this really it? I don't know when to start casting now. Okay, we've got the diffuse kit on my max along with the grenade, uh, the smoke grenades, and then armor all around. And it looks like the same sort of deal for the SEAL team on the C on the T side, apart from Pete, who's going to be picking up two flashes and a smoke. SEAL here are all flooding in towards A. No one to stop them because the endpoint team are playing a very passive, sneaky angle here. They can't be seen. Pulse is uh, facing the wall. Oh, it looks like the flashbang has gone in and blinds two of the members. Poyo takes the white max. Aaron returns on cranked. Pulse takes on Poyo, and he doesn't spray through the crate there. Oh, he does. He does see uh, Okarish. Aaron sees Pete, and it looks like a four v one here. They're closing in on him, and there's the frag. What a strange tactic there, playing almost like they weren't on B on A. Sorry. All sitting by graveyard and just hiding away under apartments. I've never seen that before, but it worked for them. I suppose if you don't know what you're doing, they won't know what you're doing either. <laughs> Bloody hell. Fantastic Counter-Strike going on. So we've got the uh, just a pistol buy coming in from Seal. They're not going to spend too much money. Bit of armor, bit of deagles. And then a force buy from Endpoint with the two UMPs, the FAMAS, oh, three UMPs, pardon me, the FAMAS and the M4. Uh, a bit of grenades, not too much. So they're going to be moving up on Banana slowly with Monoline walking in uh, apartments there, see the bottom of the map. The bomb has been left behind. Okarish is going to go pick it up now, just so the uh, if there was any Endpoint guys there, they wouldn't see where the bomb was. We're making a bit of noise. They're just going to be oh, silently rotating all the way to mid. Nope, Crank uh, changed his mind. He's going to be going up to B again. Mighty Max here. <laughs> they don't know he's here. Oh, this could be fatal for Seal if they just don't. Oh, they did check it, but not quick enough. Mighty Max gets a free frag on him. Three headshots with one clip on the UMP. What on earth are you doing? This is this is high level esports. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell just happened? That's insane. Mighty Max is proving that he is one of the best players in the UK. 
Doesn't matter what weapon he's got, he's going to take you out. Bloody hell. Okay, well, with that done, um, over before 40 seconds had even gone, we've got uh, AKs coming in for seal, one CZ from on the line, and it looks like the buy hasn't changed from the endpoint side. If it works, don't change it, I suppose. Funnily enough, Seal's going to be, uh, sorry, Monoline's going to be leading the charge with a CZ. Surely everyone else would let him pick what, pick up whatever they kill, right? My Max playing very passively here on apartments. Oscarish, thank you. Looks like, oh, looks like Pogo's going to be coming around here. My Max, oh, okay, well, my Max is on the other side of the wall, so it doesn't matter. X-ray mode sometimes messes me around like that. P, just in case somebody's sitting there watching the fine angle. They aren't, but if they were, you would have them covered. They're playing very slowly. Probably rightly so, actually. The bomb's been left to spawn there. It's been left all the way at the other end of the map. So even we have no idea where uh, Seal are going. Maybe that's the point. Maybe they don't know where they're going yet. One line's gonna go, pick that up now. Pete's making a bit of noise on B. Maybe trying to force a rotation. The smoke goes in just to slow him down. Smoke on mid as well. So Seal are playing very slowly this round. Okay, and Buzzo takes down Oscarish. And Pulse takes down Poyo, and Pete takes down Pulse in return, so we've gone a 3v4. And Weber taken down Crank. The bomb has gone down in the midst of the smoke, Weber manages to see Pete. He doesn't quite see Monoline, yes he does, he gets the frag on him, and he, can he find the bomb? That's the important part, there it is. And luckily he has a defuse kit. And again, an ama- oh, no, <laughs> just kidding. What a fantastic round from endpoint, again. And then uh, they can all upgrade to AKs instead of saying to their force buy. So now they're up on the money. They've all got about 9k between, you know, see, Pulse has got 9,000 pounds. The cheapest anyone's going is Aaron, which is 4k, but he's bought grenades anyway. Pulse upgrades to the AWP. And Seal are going to be sticking to their pistols. Got three deal, CZ, P250. A little bit of armor, head armor from Crank, but nothing, uh, nothing too significant. Wouldn't write to my mum about it. I mean, I wouldn't anyway, it's Counter-Strike. Pulse playing very aggressively in Banana. Is he going to catch out Pete? No, Pete decides not to try and take that on. No frags have been taken yet. Okay, Weber takes down Poyo. Throw a wall there. Oh, wow! Crazy, uh, Wondig from Monoline. So 180 there. Weber taking down o uh, Oscarish on the spray. Aaron on crank. In fact, Aaron should be peeking over that wall there. He sees someone, he doesn't take him down. On a line there with the, uh, the Deagle down mid trying to take on. I would not take down Pulse with a Deagle from mid with a Deagle. You know, that is a recipe for disaster. They know exactly where he is and they take him down through that bangable wall there. Leaving just Monoline on his own with the Deagle. And he gets ruined by Weber. I would never take on Pulse with a Deagle if Pulse has gone off. <laughs> Especially down mid where you got no cover. So we've got a double orp setup coming in from Endpoint now. Maybe it is just a trend to have two orps on the uh, CT side of Inferno. And okay, well, that wasn't called for really. Oscar is taken down, taken, uh, chunked a bit of health there. Maybe that was a uh, discipline. Interesting. Okay, there. So you can see Seal uh, forcing themselves onto apartments with the incendiary grenades, and they're stopping any rotation coming in from Banana. But it looks like Endpoint are going to be rotating off anyway. Or maybe not. They're going to stay on. B site. You can see Weber and Pulse just staying on Banana, see if they can push in. Probe for any information they can get. Oh, Max. 
If he goes around this corner, he's going to see Monolite. The smoke comes in, so I suppose he won't. The incendiary goes in, make sure that whoever threw that smoke is not going to be coming any closer. Max and Weber just having a little chat. Swapping positions there. Lazar takes down Oscarish in an amazing orb shot, and then he gets on Crank and Pete. Oh no, Pulse has got the orb as well, sorry. Just an orb massacre here. And there's the final kill. Endpoint only lost one person there, Aaron. Endpoint on 12 here. 12 8. This is the uh, the third map in the best of three. And Steel don't really have the money to do any sort of buys. They're just buying CZs and P250s while Endpoint is sitting on the cash here. They've got two warps and stolen AKs. Lots of grenades, lots of utility. All of them are defuse kits. I suppose if you've got the money, you may as well. I wonder, uh, wonder if Max heard them there. It's quite far away. Looks like Seal are going to be pushing into apartments less aggressively than before, mind. Max, <laughs> I'm not sure that's quite what he meant to do. Interesting smoke comes in from Max. See them all bunching up here. The smoke goes in, allowing them all to push round to sight. The incendiary goes off. Poyo takes... Oh, he catches Lazar off guard. Takes the AWP from him. That could be terrible for Endpoint. That could be devastating. Mighty Max looks on sight. He sees him planting. He manages to get a few shots off. He hits him, but doesn't kill him. Oh, he takes down Oscarish. Flying headshot. Wasn't a headshot. I always say that for a death frag. Goes in. Oh, and he takes out Seal. Monoline. Who was just waiting there. Poyo's got the AWP now. Aaron takes down Crank. Pete takes down Pulse. Poyo takes down Weber, and then Mighty Max on Poyo, just right at the end there. And it looks like Aaron's on site. Is he going to get the defuse? He's got a kit, and he doesn't know that Pete is buggering off. He's running away. He wants to keep that ult for next round. Keep that for a future investment rather than try and win it now. But endpoints... Yeah. They've got crazy amounts of money, so it looks like the double ult's going to come in again. I assume Pulse is going to buy one as well as Luzza. Yeah, Weber bought one from Luzza there. And then Pete on the ult. Probably going to be uh, checking that down mid. And so here we are. This is the first 4x4 four by four by round we've had in quite a while for both teams. We've got a lot of utility for both sides. The proper rifles, defuse kits, head armor. Flashman goes over from Max. Over to second mid. Frag grenades for first mid. One line just going to be trying to wallbang. Apartments doesn't get, any, uh, doesn't get any tags off it. Oh, and there was two... Oh, my goodness me. Aaron takes down Crank, and then Poyo returns on Aaron. However, they wouldn't expect Luzza being there as well. Doesn't get a kill, though. But when you see two uh, two players at the end of apartments like that, you forget which one you're aiming at. So we're moving down Banana here. Uh, they've made a bit of noise in apartments, and it looks like Poyo's just going to be rotating off very slowly. So he can join up with his teammates. The flash goes in. Pulse manages to get a frag while he's flashed. Well done. And Max, is he going to be rotating? It looks like he's. Uh, looks like he wants to rotate, but he's not going to yet. Weber's got his smoke out. He's ready to stop any rotation. As soon as he sees somebody, he's going to be chucking a smoke, I guarantee. Looks like the SEAL guys are all bunched up. We've got Oscarish watching behind. Not a lot of activities happening here. We've got Max and Luzza still on A site. However, none of the SEAL guys are there, so... I wonder when they'll realise that and start to rotate. Maybe when a bit of noise goes down on A. My Max is... Oh yeah, see, they're still, tr they're still using utility. Looks like the round's going to be over. And... Oh, wow! Amazing headshot. Amazing kill from Pulse. Weber and Pulse, again, tr just taking down the last few members of SEAL. Leaving it 14-8 for Endpoint. Again, double orbs from Endpoint. Neither of them died, so there's no point in buying anything else. Is Pete just good? Is Pete happy with the Glock? No, there he goes. Fantastic Counter-Strikers in play for both teams, in fact. 
when Seal were on the uh, counter terrorist, they were doing some fantastic plays. But it looks like Endpoint managed to pull it back right at the uh, as they took the counter terrorist side. A lot of grenades going in. Not a lot of damage has been taken. Lots has taken a little bit. I bet that was from a grenade from long distance, but I can't say. Max is playing very passively here, just in that little hidey hole. Oscarish is a uh, sitting on banana on his own. Looks like he's just trying to draw endpoint players away from where the action is meant to be happening. A lot of kills come in. Heat and Monoline take out people. We've got Aaron on Monoline. Uh, sorry, I keep saying Monoline when it's the team of the name. Poyo manages to take down... Oh, wow, okay, Oscar is sorry. Oscar is on the headshot with Pulse. Through a wall, mind you. Lee Weber on his lonesome. On B site. Oh, uh, and he gets taken down. Right, well that was uh, that was less good for Endpoint. So we've got a full buy coming in from both teams. Endpoint still have a lot of money, I suppose. Well, Pulse and Aaron don't, but the rest of them do. And then Seal have a lot of money as well, so it looks like they can just full buy. Maybe for uh, if either team loses, they can full buy again. And if they lose that, then. Uh, Maybe they won't be able to. Oscarish manages to take down Weber as he is flashed. He, he takes a bit of damage from the frag grenade, but not enough to uh, to kill him, obviously. One line, just the headshot on Pulse there, which gives Seal a big opening on B. They're going to get the plant down, and all of their players are there, which leaves the three guys for endpoint stuck on A. Looks like they're going to be saving. They don't want to try to take five people down at the same time. So they're just going to be keeping their weapons. Yeah, you can see here, they're just passively waiting. Steel know this, obviously, and they're going to be rotating around, going to try and take them out. You can see her coming up on mid. Leaving a few players on site, though. Uh, sort of on site, watching very passively there. From Banana, in fact. Lovesy, you're scaring me. Aaron, is that going to see him? He does take down Poyo. He's just sitting there on site, on, on, uh, app, sorry. Oh, and Crank manages to get him through the smoke. Oh, and Mighty Max right at the end takes down Crank. That's going to damage their economy a little bit. They'll have to buy up again. Right at the end. Less than a second left. What an interesting image for Oscarish. Lovely. Kind of wish I hadn't seen that now. I kind of burned that image out of my retinas. So only one orp coming in from the endpoint team. Maybe they just couldn't afford it. Mighty Max being blinded here. Aaron watching on site. Looks like they are going to be coming through apartments. Everyone apart from uh, P, in fact. They're going to be running on site now. Aaron and Lozzy get caught out. Smokes go in to stop library from seeing anything. Uh, leaving only Mighty Max on A site. He's going to be rotating towards CT, towards B. Again, getting out of there, keeping their weapons. We see Seal taking a few rounds for themselves there. As soon as they get their hands on the weapons, they can do something with them. It was just earlier at this uh, on this side of the game, Endpoint was suppressing them. They kept uh, killing them at the end of the round, so they have to buy up again. They wouldn't have any money, so they couldn't buy any utilities, so they couldn't push properly. But now, Seal are buying the... Seal have the money, I suppose, to uh, force themselves into the later rounds. Ooh, monoline. Oh, he sees Mighty Max, but Max takes him down while well blinded, mind you. Pete's watching that with an orb. Oh, <laughs> wow, but the incendiary comes in. And uh, a double frag there, crank. And oh, wow, okay, Pulse takes down Pete right at the end. That f the final few seconds. So ne neither team wanted to be there, but they kind of already put themselves in that position. So, equal equipment, value coming in from both sides. We've got a FAMAS on Aaron, but otherwise it looks like pretty normal full buy. Seal are going to be leaving the bomb back at spawn. Full put a uh, Molotov down banana. But that's fine because Endpoint are going to be heading off a bit. A lot of frag grenades going off. They're not afraid to show Endpoint where they are. 
How are you guys watching mid anyway? Smoke grenade comes in from Pulse. And the incendiary. Just slow down any rotate any pushes that might be happening. And then Poyo's got the bomb. Yeah, he's gonna be coming towards Banana. He was hesitating about it. Looks like they're gonna be pushing in now. Pulse gets caught out, not kills. Uh, he does get finally taken out, but everyone knows where they are now from the endpoint side. Looks like they're gonna be rotating around from A. Smoke goes in from Webby, he's gonna be pushing around it. He manages to take down Monoline. He's still alive through the smoke. Oh, Mighty Max comes around from the side of the corner. No one knew he was there. Luz is there through the smoke. He's probably not going to fire through. He doesn't want to let them know he's there yet. Okay, Weber hears the uh, bomb going down. Sprays through the glass. Doesn't get any frags from it. And the pace is slowed down. Oscarish with 9 HP. A well-placed frag could easily take him out. Oh, yeah, I can hear them pushing onto Sai now. Oh, and he's, he, oh, he looks away just at the wrong second to get any frags. They don't know Craig. Oh, they don't know Craig's here. Oh, and he takes down Luzza. Oh, he takes down. It looks like one of those was an accident, in fact. It's just a one on one here. Oh, and Oscarish gets the frag. He gets the jump on him. He's good. <laughs> can I get an open escape? No, I can't. Yes, he can. Uh, no, he can't. He only had uh, 3 HP, 9 HP, whatever it was. Wow, so interesting there, Crank. Uh. He sprayed there, and he, it looked like he aimed for Luzza, got Luzza, and somehow got somebody else in the process. Unlucky for the endpoint team. you got to feel for them. They're doing so well just up until now. It looks like they can't get any uh, any rounds through. So the bomb has been left there at CT, uh, the T side. Sorry. A lot of grenades going in towards A. Endpoint, they don't want to show themselves. They want to play this slow. They want. Looks like Seal are going to go for A. Uh, well, they have the opportunity to rotate round because they haven't really committed themselves to any site yet. Crank, it looks like he's pushing up a little bit. Max is ready for him. Luz is facing away in case the uh, flash comes in. Oh! Aaron takes down. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so we've got Seal coming in with a fantastic couple of frags. Taking down everyone who was there right at the top of mid. Leaving only Weber and Pulse, who were on B, rotating all the way around. See, Endpoint played a little bit too far up on mid there. Nobody was on site ready for the push to come round. So when Seal managed to uh, to get those kills, it leaves Endpoint stranded. So th this round will be 13-14. What a change from the 14-8 scoreline we saw earlier, where Endpoint were just on top. What a shame. Yeah, they're, they're not even going to try to push it. Oh my god. Okay, it looks like Seal's a bit close here. Are they going to get out in time? Whoa, okay. Os Oscar is uh, It's caught out there. A bit too close to the bomb. Endpoint have the money. Looks like this is it. They're putting all of their money into this round. We've got double orb and M4s. Uh... Armor Pulse hasn't bought armor. He can afford it. Looks like he's choosing not to though. And then obviously Seal have a full buy. They can they can afford to do whatever they wanted right now. Just monoline trying to frag through apartments. Maybe tag somebody. Doesn't get anyone though. You can see Seal. Creeping through by boiler room. Aaron and Luz are patiently watching. And then Max just sitting there. The smoke goes in. Aaron gets caught out by the. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, and Luzza as well. Get caught out with the flashbang. Oh, it looks like Max gets the jump on Crank. And Monoline dies to Max's. Uh, sorry, Max dies to Monoline's uh, instant grenade. So we're going to have a 4v2. An AWP and an M4. Ah, oh, and it looks like M.9 is going to challenge it again. Little do they know, Pete is sitting on Banana. Are they going to get caught out here? No, they know he's there. You just want M.9 to challenge them, don't you? 
But they are just trying to keep the M4 in the orb. They know that their uh, money situation could get a bit tight here. And the one frag isn't going to cut it in terms of economy. Seal really want to try and dig into them now, are they? See, they're all coming in rounds. Pulse is going to get jumped on. He gets one frag. CZ comes out. Um, we're left here with uh, the guys. Are they going to be able? Are they going to afford anything? So Endpoint are using their one of their three timeouts. They want to just try and figure out what on earth is going on. Slow down the pace. Try and slow down Seal's momentum. Endpoint haven't won a round in six rounds. Think about that for a sec. If they win the next, if either team win the next two rounds, they won. So we've got a lot of grenades coming in. Aaron can't buy anything more than the smoke, but Seal are going to make up for that with their own grenades. Seal are going to be mostly moving towards apartments through second B, uh, second mid, sorry. Pulse taking a little bit of damage from the Molotov comes in. However, nobody's going to be challenging him at the end of Banana. He's probably going to keep watching that angle though. Oh, he's going to push in, he's going to investigate, see what's going on. Poyo and Crank take down Aaron and Mighty Max respectively, leaving a 3v5. Poyo only has 12 HP though, so keep an eye on that. Oscar is coming into mid. He hears the grenade. He knows somebody's there. Oh, is Pulse going to catch out Pete here? No, Pete decides not to try it. Weber's actually rotating towards B. You see Pulse on his own at Banana. He's going to try and uh, flank the SEAL team. Though it kind of looks like Pete's ready for that. Now he's going to be pushing up towards mid. SEAL grouping together. There's no one really on A to challenge them, apart from Luzza, who is actually behind them. And he doesn't get the frag. Oh, that's so unfortunate. He had every opportunity there. Endpoint have to go for it now, they have no other choice. It's the, it's the 29th round. Smokes go in. Oh, Pulse sees ahead, he takes down uh, Pete. And he gets Poyo as well. The odds have been even and now. Oscar's only has 2 HP. They could easily retake this. Molotov goes in. Oh, is they don't know Crank's there. He's just waiting very patiently. Oh, and he takes down Pulse, leaving just Weber. Can he clutch? It doesn't look like it. Looks like he's going to rotate off and try and keep the M4. Oh, and he gets taken down by Crank anyway. This bomb will surely kill both of them, though. Yep, there he goes. Seal, they need one more round to win. Endpoint are going to be spending every penny they've got. They can't afford just to, to not do that. They've got one orb between them. One M4 and the rest are all just... Four spies. Pulse has got head armor. He doesn't need it, but he's bought it anyway. Mighty Max... Well, we know what Mighty Max can do with the UMP. Early in this round, he got three frags in one clip. All within a second of each other. Pulse is left on B on his own. The rest of the endpoint guys on A. The bomb looks like it's picked up. It looks like they're going to be rotating towards B. Unfortunately, okay, so Luzzer is rotating around with the AWP. So, uh, he's got the M4, in fact. Weber's got the AWP. Interesting decision. Or maybe just mix it up as the last rounds. Seal here aren't giving anything away yet. Endpoint aren't probing for the information though. So yeah, as soon as they're not pushing, they're not like trying to peek anything. 
They're playing so passively and slowly. Both teams, in fact. Not just endpoint. Oh, Max here is perfect to spot Poyo. Oh, he doesn't see him, but he is shoulder peeking. Oh, he sees the grenade go down anyway. Oh, the trade comes in. Cranky Mighty Max go down. Pulse is taken down by Pete, who is watching by Cof uh, Coffins over there. Oh, and he takes down Ludra as well, leaving just Aaron and Weber to try and win the game for endpoint. Or win the round, at least. Pete's watching Banana very patiently. Oh, the flash goes in, forcing him to move back. He's got full sight now. Oh, and he takes down Aaron, somehow. Leaving an orb v orb. Weber takes down Poyo. It's a 1v3. Odds are not looking in endpoint's favour, though. And... Is this it? Is this it? Weber gets Pete down. Has he got time to take on the bomb? And Sibo's crashed.